What it do y'all and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm here to finally give you guys my first roundup update on my makeup project pan. I have been doing my absolute best to keep all of the items in my cube kind of storage that I've shown you guys a couple of times now when I've done shop my stashes. And so I believe I have everything kind of easily accessible and accurate when it comes to the items that are currently in my project pan. If I, for whatever reason, I missed an item, I will definitely make sure to update you guys on that item in the future. Basically the way that I did this project pan is I just put about two of everything in, in my normal like routine in the video. Um, and I'm going to try to finish up or hit physical pan on all of these items before the end of the year. I decided to only update this project pan once every three months, mainly just because I found that if I update you too, too early and there's no progress, I feel down about my lack of progress. And this is coming from somebody who wears makeup at about three times a week. Some weeks I just don't wear any makeup. Um, and so the use of pre-filming is always highly recommended on those weeks for me. But yeah, with that said, let's just dive on in because there are quite a few products and I want to give you guys the updates. When I stepped away to kind of look at how much progress I would need to make to kind of finish up this Glow Recipe product, I realized that there was not much product left. I will have B-roll for all of these products and I kind of overestimated the amount of progress that I thought I would be able to get done. I don't use a lot of this product. I use about three small dots, if not one kind of squeeze and then I dot it around my face and I put it mainly in my T-zone area just to control my oils throughout the day and I find that this does a really good job so that's why I put this in the project I was getting a lot of use out of it and I was really excited to kind of keep enjoying this product I do based on the amount of use that I got the last three months I think it's going to honestly take me quite a long time to get through this which I'm very surprised I really thought by this time I could switch over to the Danessa Myrix I thought that was going to be the one that really took a long time for me to just physically hit pan and maybe in this next kind of three month period of time I will just be using more makeup than I did these first three months and so maybe that will be the determining factor who knows I'm definitely thoroughly surprised and impressed with the amount of time it is taking me to get through so little product and I am still very excited to get my full use out of that product once again I only used one foundation I thought I would have been finished with this foundation by this time but when I did my like measuring I don't think I pulled all of the foundation that I could have from the top down and so I had quite a lot of product up there which I think is really why you don't see a significant increase in the usage when it comes to the tallies but I've been using the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Foundation every time I sit down to put on makeup I really do enjoy this foundation it's great for a kind of light everyday makeup. I find that this gives me a good amount of medium coverage and gives a nice skin like finish. It is a favorite. I've already talked long and very, very long about all of my foundations, so I'm not going to go too, too far into it. But this is definitely one that I am excited to finish up and then move on to the next foundation that I have in this particular project pan. So when it comes to the concealer, unfortunately, even though I let it sit, it still hasn't fully settled. So I don't know how much progress I've actually made in this particular product, but this is the Dior Backstage Concealer in 5N. By the time I post this video, I will make sure that it is set enough so I can actually indicate how much usage I have got. And I'm just excited to be using this. This was a nice concealer when I bought it. I enjoyed it and I kind of put Put it away to try other concealers and get through like older concealers and now i'm just excited to give this concealer like full limelight full attention it works great with my Juvia's Place foundation. And so, yeah, I'm just excited and hopeful that I can get through that throughout this year. That way I can get once again into my second concealer, which I did not touch throughout this past three month period. 
For powders, I really stuck with one powder, same with pretty much all of these products, and that is my Pat McGrath Yellow Powder. I've been really enjoying this powder, not only as an under eye setting powder, but also all over the face. I believe my goal for this product was to hit pan and I've definitely significantly reduced the dome here. So I definitely feel like there is significant progress and I'm excited to see, you know, how many months it takes for me to truly hit pan. For both of my powders, I think my goal was to hit pan. So hopefully I can see that usage in this product by you know the june update that way i have at least half of a year to get through my second powder but either way it, this project is really just about getting usage out of my products even if i don't really hit the goal on all of these i just want to feel a little bit more usage see a little bit more dense in some of these products than previously before for out of the two cream bronzers i've only actively been using one and that is the tarte contour in the shade deep bronze and although there is quite a lot of kind of air in the top i did my best to kind of push the air down to see where the product stopped and that's where the indicator is on the packaging as you guys know this has that nasty kind of sponge packaging similar to the charlotte tilbury which it is trying to do and because of that I find that I squeeze the product out just a little bit and then the sponge has enough product to kind of go around my face. This isn't the perfect product for me shade wise, depth wise, anything, but I just figured I could get through it quickly and this is seeming to be a formidable kind of opponent. So I'll be excited to see how long it takes me to fully get through this product. Um, I know I'll feel that like, you know, momentum of success, but it's still it's putting up a very good fight let me put it to you that way a very good fight out of the two powder bronzers i've been highlighting and focusing on my house labs deep 11. this is one of my favorite bronzers i typically target my brush down here just naturally it's not like something that i'm doing to kind of hit pan quicker but i would love to hit pan in here i feel like i've given this blush so much attention this brand so much attention because i love a lot of their products and i would love to kind of start to see some usage on these products so this is definitely a product that i'm hopeful to hit pan in prior to the next update again the formula is kind of a baked chalet formula so i do find sometimes that it can be a little difficult to pick up on my brush especially because i don't set my cream bronzer before I set with this powder bronzer so sometimes that can definitely play a part in like how slow or how quickly I may potentially be getting through that bronzer but I'm still very excited um, and hopeful to get to that goal that I have before the end of the year but for cream blush I only have one cream blush and I've actually used the cream blush and the powder blush so I'm going to talk about both of those and this one is my half magic um dr only drama blush this was in my project pan last year and i felt like i had unfinished business and that's why i put it here i still have yet to see pan but i'm still seeing a significant amount of that ring down below so i'm still hopeful that i'll get there who knows when that will happen but i will continue to actively use that product and lately when i do use that cream blush i am splashing this on as well this is the taj mahal blush from nars i don't honestly think that i'm gonna be able to get to this goal until potentially the very end of the year i don't use a lot of this product i'm not like layering it on as heavily as i do normally my blush it's more of like a blush topper kind of infusing with the cream blush so i definitely it'll be interesting to see if i do hit pan here but i am still going to continue to actively use the product continue to enjoy the products that i have and splash in some new products as always that I pick up throughout the year. As for highlighter, I only put in one highlighter and that is my Rare Beauty Highlighter in Flaunt. As I said last year, I definitely got rid of the whole dome here. So now it's just really 
eating away at the product to kind of see the pan. I love this product. It's a really beautiful highlighter. I'm not as like in love with highlighters as I used to. So the couple that are like really, really good, I'm happy to just constantly use them to constantly get use out of them. And so I'm really excited to see how far in on this rare beauty I can get. I don't foresee me picking up a whole lot of highlighters this year, but you know, the year is new. The year, it, 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 we'll see what happens. We will see what happens, especially when you're talking about me. You never know. You never know. Okay, so as for setting spray, because that's generally like the next step that I do, I decided to put in my LYS Natural Finish Setting Spray. I thought that this would be kind of, you know, an interesting one. I put in actually both of them, right? I think I did. Yeah, I put in both of them. So let me actually... So I put them both in, um, let me let me back up. For my setting sprays, I put two in and I actively use both of them. So that's why I put them in. My Mana Kadar one, I used to really remove any powdery effect look situation that I have. So I have gotten a good amount of usage here. I definitely think that this is gonna be a long haul product, but that's perfectly fine. I've been using this for about a year now and I'm happy to be using it. I don't feel as though I kinda wanna to just throw it away so definitely excited to see the length of time that I can get out of this product and then as for the LYS this is the natural finish this is a newer product and although it says that it's a mattifying set I find that it like is more of it will set your makeup in the exact state that it is. Yes, it gives a little bit of mattifying effect because it doesn't add any sheen to your skin but I don't find that it overly kind of dries out my skin after setting so i've gotten used out of both products i definitely think that i probably won't finish the lys based on the usage that i had in the last three months but i think i can definitely get through the mana kadar and i'm excited for that i am definitely excited for that let's get into some brow products so i have two brow pencils in this project one is from lys and i believe they sent this one to me and then the other one is from abh this is their brow wiz the brow wiz is in ebony the lys pencil is in dark brown i like both of these products but they are very very different the abh is a lot waxier in texture and so you definitely have to press on the product to really get the effect on the brows that said this is a drier pencil so if you press too hard and you have too much of the pencil exposed it will break very very easily the lys has more of like a silicone base to it if you will so it really glides over your brows easily although i don't find that this has a lot of wax so it's not something that you really have to warm up to get the color applied to the skin and i used actually both of these products throughout these last three months and you will see the usage um and this b-roll i really just will grab for whatever brow pencil i see in the little container that i keep and honestly that's why i've kind of used them both if i remembered that i had to i would have probably focused on one that way I could have kind of finished one first and then gone to the next I will say the LYS is actually broken I actually <laughs> dropped it in the midst of trying to see if I had any usage um, updates and I found it but it was in a very precarious situation so I don't know if I lost more product in that situation but all I can do is say that the marking there shows how much product is left in this particular brow pencil as for the gel, I focused on one brow gel because I felt like I was closer to the end of this one. This is the Patrick Ta, and I can definitely feel that I'm at the end. I don't think that I, when I come back in the next update, I don't think I will have this product left. There is very little product here, uh, and it's getting to the point where I don't feel I actually have to kind of brush off excess, which really tells me that I'm down to very minimal product in this actual tube, which is great. I kind of wish that I had finished this so I would have some kind of goal success story here within these first three months but I'm perfectly content and I feel like after you know about the six month mark that's really where you'll see a lot of usage hopefully on the positive direction where I actually succeeded in quite a few of my goals but 
anyways i think that this is definitely going to be one that i get done by the time the next update comes around keeping in the eye area i have an eye um an eyeshadow single that i was using and this is another thing that i've definitely gotten significant use out of i definitely don't have much left but I've underestimated how long it will take. I do tend to reach for my um, my Half Magic eyeshadow primer more so than this. So I think I really need to kind of restructure myself to reach for this. That way I can just kind of use the product. But I do enjoy both products. So there is that. Um, and I am actively using both. As you can see the update here, you can't really see the update on the Half Magic because there's no real way for me to see inside the product. I can just see based on how easy there is to get product and how hard it is that I am definitely getting to the ends of that product as well. But do not believe that was in my project. So I'm not gonna really showcase or really highlight that product too much more than what I've already said. I only put one lip liner in there and this lip liner kind of got lost in the sauce for a little bit. So hopefully in these next three months, I can get more significant use out of it because usually I get more use out of lip liners within about a three month time period. This is my Makeup Forever Limitless Brown. I really do like this lip liner. I just wanted to see how long it would take me to get through this particular formula other formulas i've gotten through within something as short as a month or you know something as long as like a year it just kind of depends on the formula so i'm really interested to see how long it would take me to get through this and these last three months have not helped my cause to see that in a more true measurement of time so Hopefully I can remember to actively use that a lot more. And yeah, I have been using my MAC mascara, which is a product that I put in this project. I hate this mascara. That's why I put it in there. My mascaras, though, are not something that I really, you know, are particular about. When I put it in a, in a project pan, it's just so I can see it in a three-month time period. Technically, I should probably be throwing this away, but it's still quite new. There's still quite a lot of product here, so I will keep it for probably until the next update, and then I will go ahead and get rid of it. If you didn't know, you should be decluttering or throwing away your mascaras every three months because of just the buildup of bacteria that can happen in those particular tubes. But with that said, I think that's all of the products that I actually used that I ha had put into my project pan. I hope you guys enjoyed this update. I know it wasn't anything flashy. I don't have any real grand, you know, completed products, but I'm actively using the products as you can see in all of my description boxes. And yeah, I'm still excited about this project. So I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.